work that we do at Yashche, promoting agroforestry, promoting uh, food security, uh, using methods that are sustainable, that are enriches the soil, but that is also beneficial to the environment, is really working towards uh, having a healthy ecosystem, be it forest, be it river, be it the barrier reef. Moncriva Watershed, uh, the fourth largest in the country of Belize, uh, largest in Toledo district, but also the most impacted within the area because of um, land practices upstream, mainly uh, for the banana industry. Not only impacting the community, but it's also impacting the biodiversity of the area, impacting our in marine environment, which us as a community depend upon as a fishing community for our livelihoods. What you are seeing is actually the effects of the coastal erosion that has taken place in Monk River over the past 20 to 25 years. Where the pelicans are sitting just beyond some 50 meters was the extent of where the community lies. And where I currently stand is the main street, what's left of the main street in the community. Beyond this point is actually the limits of our cemetery. And that's how far the sea has receded. And we are seeing now that our cemetery is actually being threatened by the sea. If something is not being done, we'll be losing the, the, the cemetery as well. So managing using the ridge to reef concept, managing these resources can lead to better um, livelihoods for coastal communities. Our first ever Maya Gorn Landscape um, Farmer of the Year Award was won by Mr. Santiago Cus, um, simply because of the system that he has here in his farm, the agroforestry based system. It is a system that we try to promote um, within the farmers, um, amongst the farmers, and we can only do so through generous support like the GIZ, and we are grateful to them. These are the chickens where we eat them. This is a sour soap tree. We use it to make ice cream. This is the cacao, avocado, all spice, cassava, a banana, bird fruit, papaya. This is a monoculture cornfield, and this is um, cacao agroforestry. The cacao-based agroforestry is different from monoculture because it is one type of, of crop, and um, in, in, when it comes to disease, when something gets there, then it is eradicated totally. But in agroforestry, when diseases are there, then you know you have your timber trees, your fruit trees, your um, you know short-term um, ground crops that provides food security for the, the farmer, but also provides income so he can send his um, children to school, also have food on the table and have a very good diet. Here we have a crystal clear running water and several reasons cause that, uh, one of which is maintaining the 66 feet buffer zone which is required by the law of Belize to maintain. It acts to filtrate that amount of um, chemicals that would enter the river and all of which contributes to our healthy 
marine life because as you know this river ends up all the way into marine. All these better agriculture practices ensures that we have cleaner rivers, healthier riparian zone, keeping the mangroves intact that filters all the runoffs of agriculture. We realize that monoculture, slash and burn, a big citrus plantation, big banana plantation uses lots of chemical. We need to work towards the protection or introduce better practices on these farms so that we have a reduction in coral bleaching, a reduction in siltation uh, that will eventually affect our barrier reef, which is very uh, instrumental and is very key for the success of our tourism industry and other industries, the fishing industries, also depend on the barrier reef. So what we're doing upstream really affects what happens in the marine life. You, we cannot isolate them. We cannot have good marine protection but poor inland uh, protection of our headwaters. We are in Placencia Peninsula in St. Bite village. As you can see the beautiful Caribbean Sea, which is right behind me, 20 meters away from this village. Most of the houses in this village has peat latrine septic tanks, and the sep those septic tanks are not properly built. There is a peat latrine on left hand side of me. As you can see, the septic, septic tank is 20 meters away from the uh, Caribbean Sea, and all the wastewater leaks through this peat latrine and it goes to the Caribbean Sea. One day it will, it will pollute our environment and Caribbean Sea and that's why we believe it's necessary to have a centralized wastewater system in Placencia Peninsula. Here we can see a more extreme example of the pit latrine where the sewer system that comes directly into the lagoon that it sits on and what it does is that it affects the ecosystem and the mangroves. You can see behind me another example of open sewage discharge occurring on the Placentia Peninsula. This contributes not only to the environmental degradation of the area, but also poses very real health hazards to the residents living in and around these contaminated waters. We are here in center part of Placentia village. Even here people use septic tank, which as you can see in here, this type of septic tanks are not properly built and maintained and they leach wastewater into the ground and one day it will contaminate our sea, our lagoon and environment. It's better to have a centralized wastewater collection and treatment system to protect our environment, public health and tourism. To make matters worse, the drinking water supply is even submerged inside these contaminated waters. Uh, currently there is very little information available on the level of contamination of this area. However, due to the support of the German government, we are currently building a water and wastewater lab on the Placentia Peninsula with the objective of establishing a baseline condition of this area. We're here in Lovely San Pedro looking at the existing water and sewerage system. This water and sewerage system was contracted in 1996 and came online the same year. The system consists of a collection system and a sewage treatment plant. We're standing in the middle of the sewage treatment plant, which consists of three natural aeration lagoons that treats the sewage that comes here. It's a final stage before disposal to the environment. The final effluent from the maturation cell of the treatment lagoons is made to disperse through this dispersion pipe into the wetland mangroves. This mangrove provides additional treatment by removing the nutrients from the final effluent. Nutrients in this environment would harm the reef.
muy buena noche, no más de nuevo. Yo voy a ir con un Muy buena noche, no más de comer. Yo voy a ir con un